Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I am Rex. I'm Daniel. Uh, he's a level three whiskey sommelier. He's a master moot. And this is a highly requested wrist whiskey. It's like the Middleton, very rare. From Ireland. More than medium, medium rare. Very rare. Yeah. Um. All right. <laughs> All right, today we're drinking Middleton. Yeah. Middleton. Very rare. I only like very rare things. Not sort of rare. Not even the rarest of rare, but very rare. Have you tried their medium rare? No. It only uh, comes in a half pound serving. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so, why have I heard of Middleton so often? Has it been requested a lot? Is it a really well known? Okay, there's brand? a couple of reasons. Yeah. The the first is a ton of our viewers have requested us try Middleton Rare. This is for you guys. Um, it, I mean, it, uh, I've only Middleton at one point was, for all practical purposes, the only functioning distillery in Ireland. Yeah. Um, John... I mean, other than, I mean, they had Bushmills doing other product, but at one point, IDL, the Irish Distillers Limited, had consolidated almost all of the whiskey production on their side into Middleton. It says John... And Bushmills was the only separate. John Jameson and Sons. Is it the same Jameson? Yeah, they combined with a couple of the companies to form IDL, so Irish the, Distillers the big Limited. Jameson whiskey yep. combined to do yeah. something. With, with two other brands, including Powers, yeah. John Powers. So this is hand-selected. I'm excited about this one, even though people have been talking about it. Excited about reading the This box. is a triple distilled Middleton Irish whiskey. Um, hand-selected casks. Each bottle numbered and signed. Okay. So this is a 2016 run. Yeah. We are You know on what you remind the... me of right now? You remind me of me when I was 14 collecting comic like, books comic books and baseball cards <laughs> <laughs> pulling out that's funny pulling out the magazine to see how valuable it is all right anyway and you can never sell it for that much that now this is not a cheap week man is this a, so a, yesterday we did a $50 bourbon today we're doing like a 150 to 200 dollar irish whiskey this um smells really nice sorry guys it's amazing, though. I'm not getting much alcohol burn. I'm getting that, uh, oh, oh, dare I say. Oh, that's why I remembered. Biscuit on the nose. Yeah, biscuit on the nose. Mm. Actually, what's funny is I chose this because... A, a little bit of a honey buttered Irish, biscuit. Irish, yeah. Honey buttered biscuit on the nose. It's funny. Irish whiskey is noted for sort of a biscuity flavor, but when they describe it in Ireland, they're talking about butter cookies. Because I have no idea what fluffy, flaky biscuits are. Heathen dogs. Heathen. You called the Irish, the entire Irish dogs. nation, heathen dogs. The whole nation. <laughs> yeah. So Barry Crock was a master distiller before 2014. That's why I was thinking Barry Crockett. It's Brian Nation uh, that we're drinking right now. They only released about 2,500 cases of this a year. Drink some apple in here. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. And not even a green apple. Normally an Irish whiskey, I get a green apple, but this one I'm getting more of a red apple. I'm looking forward to this on the smell. This this smells like it's gonna be really nice. Now these are triple distilled and between 12 and 25 years old. A mix of casks from bourbon to sherry. Uh, Each year it varies slightly. I'm not sure what this one is. Here's the thing. Um, are you getting any cinnamon? Because cinnamon to me is one of those the flavors that's so distinct. I can often imagine it. I'm not getting any cinnamon. You're not getting any one. cinnamon. Okay, because maybe I'm projecting cinnamon into this. But my nose is slightly stopped up today on the right side mm -hmm. specifically. So and that's my preferred side to smell from. And that's, so I'm having a hard time really narrowing this down. Uh, it's karma? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm excited to taste this one because everything I've heard about it is that it's extremely smooth, very beautiful. That is one of the smoothest whiskeys I've ever tried. It just unfolds and it doesn't poke or um, spike anywhere. Unfolds into- Oh my God. Butter, it is smooth. Butter and apples. Okay, so. Here's the danger of using the word smooth. It doesn't mean anything, <laughs> right? Dolphin it's smooth. It's not specific. Dolphin smooth. Dolphin smooth, that's just science. Right. Uh, but by smooth... If, well, you, if you need a reference point for dolphin smooth, yeah. find a dolphin or... Or... <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> wow, we're really just <laughs> dancing. Okay, so... Um, I'm gonna say by smooth, what I mean is, 
it does taste buttery and sort of no sharp edges of any kind, including even the wood flavor you would think would have some sharp edges, nothing. Yeah. It's just round and uh, sort of focused. It doesn't really spread out. There's not a lot of oils. It's not aggressive. Um, it's not hard to wrap your head around. The alcohol content's not, it's 40%, so but, it's pretty low. And the one of the, I think, in my experience, one of the dangers of getting something that is just uh, putting smoothness as the priority above oh, all else. Man, this is so drinkable. You often get um, few flavors. Yeah. Yeah, and I would say there's, there's, there's a few different things going maybe on. Maybe a trio of flavors in here, but not much beyond that. It's not taking you on a wild ride like um, the coal, uh, the the Kalila uh, uh, Dark Cove. Oh, or no, Ardbeg. Ardbeg Dark, Dark Cove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Ardbeg was a wild ride. Moment by moment, it's switching it up. This is three really nice, uh, well rounded flavors. Not challenging at all, but um, perfectly enjoyable. I like it. So, remember the story in the war, World War II? Yeah. Son of a bitch. I do remember that story. Every time I die on the inside a little, one of these days I'm gonna snap and it's gonna go down. Okay. You know I'm just saying. You know, what I, you know what I think? One of these days I'm gonna snap. <laughs> you, I look forward to that day. <laughs> Cause I will bring the damage. <laughs> look, I have a damn dagger in my sock. You know what I got? I will shiv you. Two f***ing guns. <laughs> right there. <laughs> All day long. So, um, now I don't remember what I was going to say. Oh, remember in World War II there's a story of on Christmas when the Germans and the uh, yeah. English or Americans both like... They played soccer. Hung out, played soccer, traded... It was Christmas. <laughs> a lot of them ended up court-martialed and hung for that. Okay, really? Mm-hmm. For As traitors, yeah. Oh. Not a lot, but there was it was serious. Well, still, even like a couple kind of ruins the story. It really does ruin the story. Mm. But I'm about to pull a moment like that where I maybe cross into territory of like, hey, I thought you were supposed to take sides. What the hell are you playing soccer with the enemy for? I could absolutely say that as an American, if you take an American biscuit and put a lot of butter and a dab of honey, you would be right along the lines of this whiskey. Can you see the nipples through my shirt? Right? <laughs> I mean, it was just immediate. Bam. Bam! Bam. So, you know, if I was... Uh, now, for, okay, so... If I was generous and gracious, I would try and meet you halfway. Like, well, no, Daniel, no, no. the thing about your European cookies. No. Nah, no, he's no. not going to do it. Biscuit so, truth. Normally, in an Irish whiskey, I get a little more... Uh, to me, the English biscuit, like the butter cookie, is a little more uh, bready, which is weird. It's got some sometimes some gingery kind of notes. The shortbread cookie has a little more sugar. I get that from more Irish whiskeys. This one's so round, so smooth that none of the little sparkly notes are popping out for me. Arian Kurangi, Kurangi. I have, there's zero wait, chance wait. of me getting this. By now. the way, do you know why that sort of biscuit flavor shows up in Irish whiskey? Traditionally, it's because of the percentage of unmalted barley in an Irish whiskey. Which is required in a pot still Irish whiskey. So, do you mean... Not required, but a thing. My biscuit or cookie biscuit? Cookie biscuit. Unmalted barley results in sort of a malty, more malty flavor or sort of a shortbread biscuit. Flavor. I saw this comment too. Arian Arian Kirangi. When I first watched this video, I thought I'd accidentally clicked on Buddhist shares glass of whiskey with homeless man. <laughs> Hope to see many more. One of my favorite comments that you can't decide whether it's an insult or not. <laughs> no, this? Yeah. No, that's ball busting at its finest. Yes, well done. That's top shelf. <laughs> that's top shelf. Robin Goldstein, whenever I give whiskey to people who aren't whiskey people, I usually do Hibiki Harmony or Middleton Very Rare. Yeah, well, oh wow. Wait a minute. You normally pour a $200 bottle of whiskey for people who are not necessarily whiskey people? I need to know you. Yeah. You need to be We're coming over to your house. A good friend of mine. <laughs> now, and Hibiki's not cheap either. My God. Yeah, Hibiki speaks for itself. You must have expendable income. And I can tell people that the Middleton is distilled by Jameson, so that yep. brings some familiarity with rent with brand recognition while giving them something uh, with, in my opinion, is a much more interesting flavor that is still very approachable. Although to be a d <laughs> it's it's Jameson is distilled by Middleton. Technically, you know what that is kind of. A yeah, it's sort of the other way around. We need to choose which of us is the. Because if we're, if yeah, we're both, we're both. The <laughs> that's a problem. 
Yeah, no, it's just a technicality. When IDL took over and Jameson merged into IDL yeah. with a couple other brands, the Middleton Distillery is the one that took over production of all the brands, including Jameson. Uh, Robin says, I have to force myself not to start them with my favorite super peaty smoky eyelids. Well done. Yeah, that's why. You're not doing them any favors starting them on that. Although, in my experience, I've done that for people, and I've had people finally get to the smoky whiskey whiskey and say of everything you poured me this was my favorite yeah yeah but it's but it's better to find that out later if we had to put a percentage on it it feels like um maybe know, 20 80 yeah 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 20 percent of the people are going to be bam right there at the challenging smoky stuff and 80 percent need a little help yeah um oh whiskeys okay so we chose yeah. after yesterday is today th today's one thursday today's thursday right so we got two days left until the live stream. Yeah. That should give you guys enough time just to go get it or to go get at least one bottle from the five we chose. To celebrate our 10,000 subscribers. That by the time we do the live stream, we'll be 18-ish. No, I mean, we're 19 now, bro. Oh, were we? Oh, we were 18 this morning. Okay. Wait, uh, let me see. We may uh, be up to 20. This is all brag that'll, moment. That'll, this is all humble brag. That'll be awkward. Action right that, here. That'll be really awkward if we're celebrating 10,000. 10,000! Uh, yeah, well, it's uh, 19,000, almost 800. Yeah, we'll be at 20. Okay, so now we're celebrating the 20 because we announced this when we were only 10. And uh, But you guys are still f***ing awesome, and the yeah. comments are still fun. And I'm still desperately trying to keep up with the comments. Yeah, if... It, well, basically what happens is my wife goes to bed, and then I sit, pour a whiskey, and I just sit there scrolling through comments. Now, here's one thing I need to apologize for. Yeah. Again, you know how YouTube dumb I am. I haven't figured out how to check when I reply to someone's comment, how to be notified when they reply to my comment to continue a conversation without having to go all the way back and look for that from scratch. I don't actually <laughs> hang out in the comments. I have my assistants uh -huh. talk with All right, people. get the whiskey list. Rex and I chose five, so it was a hard choice of the whiskey list. No, you the, threw it on the ground. Bend over in your kilt. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> you just want to see what's under here, don't you? <laughs> uh. While you what? get that, Thomas. I got all kinds of room to bend down and pick <laughs> up now. Gaudreau. Goudreau. <laughs> You've mentioned before that you guys tend to mainly review whiskeys you like. We try to. Yeah. Yet I've never seen you review that bottle of Great Odin's Raven back uh, <laughs> Oh, really? Are you secretly trying to get us to infer that it's bad? Challenge accepted. Are you publicly shaming it by leaving it out in the open and deliberately not reviewing it? I have never even heard of this thing. I haven't yet opened it. Because... <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> it says Ron Burgundy. Here's why. Here's why I haven't opened it. I so badly want it to be good. Yeah. And if it's, and if it's not, not, then it's ruined. Damn it. Right. So I've avoided it. But we're going to pour this while we try. I'm going to give you the rest of the Middleton. Yeah, yeah. While we try uh, or announce our five whiskeys. So we wanted to give you notice to either go buy or pick up or check in that you have in okay. stock. Again, the current whiskeys we chose. Thursday episode, okay. Right. While we drink Ron Burgundy blended scotch. <laughs> oh man, please don't be bad because he's one of my favorite people in the world. Uh, I don't know how to put this, but my Ron Burgundy blended scotch whiskey is kind of a big deal. <laughs> Named in honor of me, award-winning anchorman, poet, and scotch, aficion scotch aficionado, Ron Burgundy. <laughs> That's right. This exceptional blended scotch whiskey contains grain and mature malt scotch whiskeys from Speyside Highlands in Isla. The result is a complex, rich fruit flavor and long finish. Hope you enjoy this smooth scotch whiskey as much as I do. And remember, stay classy. Stay classy. <sighs> it smells like a blend. We can keep it up here. Ooh. This is immediately more Isla than I was expecting. It's not hardcore Isla, but there's smoke in there. Okay. I'm good. Damn. I'm in. You know what? This is everything I loved about Black Bottle, Yeah, but a little better. You said Black Bottle. I was going to say Sheep Dip. Yeah. All right. This could be a middle ground between Sheep Dip and Black Bottle. This, I like this better than Black Bottle as equal to Sheep Dip. Gateway. This is... Son of a bitch. It's pretty damn He did good. it. Uh, gateway into Eyeless. We're going to do our own video on this where we can compare it to some other blends. Yes. Okay. Okay. Anyway. So, I did a spreadsheet because I'm that guy and I sorted the most requested for the five whiskeys. We ended up with about 20 that were really neck and neck. And so we just picked from the 20 ourselves. Now, there's 
of the five, there's a few that were like hands down, we, they are obviously in there. Yeah. So the first three that there's no question they were voted in top were Glenfiddich 12, Jameson, the classic Jameson, no fanciness, yep. and Dalmore 12. Okay. Glenfiddich 12, Dalmore 12, Jameson. We'll be drinking those on the live stream. By the way, you don't need to go buy all five. No, pick one and pick, just join us with one. Even, yes, or just if you don't want to buy anything, just pull out a whiskey. You already Drink have. what you have. Yeah. The last two we chose, our own, were Lagavulin 16. Mm, yeah. And because we need a bourbon in there, Maker's Mark, which we've was never highly requested and we've never reviewed it. Yeah, yeah. So maybe this will be our first time. Yeah. Cool. So, once again, Glenfiddich 12, Jameson, Dalmore 12, Lagavulin 16, Maker's Mark. I'm now, looking, I'm looking forward to that. Keep in time. mind that we get this all the time on our top 10 whiskeys. How come you didn't include this one that I know you like? It's like, well, yeah, but. Because we're. We back. didn't source this. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You guys don't did. Backpedal, just own it. Because we're bastards. Yeah, because. And we, we hate the things you like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on purpose. Yeah, that's right. All right, and I'll see you tomorrow with Johnny Walker. Dun dun dun. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may I steal a lover's heart. If you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.